Hello and welcome to another update video about Aave. Aave continues to be in this potential diagonal pattern. The yellow wave count remains primary and it would be ideal to still reach the $119 level next. That could be either directly from here or we dip into the support area again for then another move up. The critical support for me is $68. Against the $68 level, I would still watch for higher prices towards the $120 mark, maybe even $138, but $120 is a Fibonacci extension that is a highly reliable target, um, either for the fifth wave, or we could even discuss and um, debate if the third wave is still running, okay? So either in the third, that's anyway an ideal target. And for the fifth, it's acceptable. But then also the 1.618 seems to be a reliable one for the fifth wave, $138. Bottom line is, as long as the $68 level is holding, another high is expected, either an extension in the third wave or a fifth wave. So we'll see. Um, key is, well, ideally, ideally the price doesn't even break below 74. It's the 50% FIP level. Okay, ideally we're holding that that would add some credibility to the wave count and to the diagonal that's unfolding. Um, also, that $119, $120 level is not only Fibonacci extension, um, actually this shifted a little bit, but it's um, it's a structural resistance level as well. It's more at around $116, $117, so just below that key Fibonacci target. So if we zoom in, there is a resistance area that needs to overcome by the price before it can push higher to that um, $119 level. And it's here, resistance at $104. That was not broken yet. It's a resistance level that I communicated to channel members a few days ago. And that needs to break to make a direct push towards $119 more likely at the moment. It's entirely possible that this fourth wave is still in the making, absolutely, okay? So the thing is, we have a bit of a double bottom there. They are quite rare for breakouts. So that would typically suggest that we can dip into the area again. At least we cannot rule it out, right? Um, but also very important to understand that the price reached that trend reversal and support area. So um, what is a bit difficult is that this, if this already was the entire pullback, it was quite shallow. It didn't even reach the 38.2 retracement at $81. Well, that means it could be, it could be that this third wave is still unfolding, okay? That's what is a little bit unclear. If we come down from here and get to 81, 74, or even 68, and then rally, then I have some clarity that this was the wave four. At the moment, it's a bit, okay, you know, it could be the wave four if we push higher from here, but it's also possible that the third wave is simply getting another extension difficult to make that call okay very difficult um but it doesn't matter so much okay it doesn't matter depends on your time frame overall i would say to keep it very simple as long as the 68 dollar level is holding 119 and then possibly 136 dollars are the next expected targets to the upside as long as we're holding the last swing lows here at 83 dollars it's entirely possible that this is still happening in a third wave but also then we would be watching for a more direct push to the upside to $119. And that depends on a successful breakout above $104. So overall, no change to the wave count, nothing really bearish going on here yet. Still moving in this diagonal, just be aware that after the next high, a more substantial top could form. Yeah. So as soon as the wave five is in, be aware that this could simply be a larger B wave. That has unfolded here okay um it's similar to the similar to the solana chart okay in which we had here let's zoom out in which we had off the june lows just an a wave rally a b wave down and this could be a c wave in five waves one two three four five and then we have an ABC structure. So just be aware of that. Just be aware of that. Um, it could easily break down from there. Doesn't need to, okay? If after these five waves we form a higher low, great, then we push higher to the upside going forward and we will also add a support area to the chart. 
But what that wave count allows us is also to add another variable to the chart, another target level to watch. And that would be the 100, so the one to one ratio, 100% extension level. And that is basically also at $120. So there are a few, there is Fibonacci confluence around $120. So pay attention to that. Yeah, that's my update about um, Aave. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.